Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Video Games back with another really cool arcade game video for you. Today we have a pair of games that we thought uh, we've been working on this week and uh, getting cleaned up, rebuilding the monitors, uh, straightening everything out. They've been neglected for a while, but we've got them back up and doing their thing pretty well. And uh, we figured we'd shoot a video of it. This is Midway's Off-Road Challenge. This came out in, I believe, let's go look came out in 1997 now I want you to read real close what it says off-road challenge trademark and 1997 Midway Home Entertainment Incorporated all rights reserved likenesses of Ivan Stewart are used under license what that means is this is actually the sequel to Ivan Stewart's Super Off-Road, which was a real classic game that came out in the 80s. You may remember they had the three steering wheels on it. And you could uh, just spin them, and you, it was a top-down view of, you know, driving the trucks around the track. Ivan Iron Man Stewart. So this is, I think they made about four of those. They made that one, then they made the track pack, and then they made uh, Danny Sullivan's Indy Heat, which was kind of similar. And then this was the, the last one that they made, that Midway made, which is a completely different company. So anyway, it's kind of... I guess that was kind of his truck too, right? It says Ivan Stewart in the back now that I noticed. We were just talking earlier about how we thought that was the same truck from the original off-road. Super off-road. We got these suckers running good. They're linked together so you can race each other. But they're separate cabinets. Makes them a lot easier to move. You can also take that apart and make it... Uh, uh, where they're individual games that can be played separately. The side art is really nice on these things too. This was made after Cruising USA and then after Cruising World. I'm not sure if it was after Cruising Exotica, but they had already made this type of cabinet and already done this kind of thing. You can see in the background there we've got a Cruising USA over there. They'd already kind of done this thing so they knew that this was going to be a successful game and they knew that Super Off-Road was a successful game so they kind of went all out on the art. Check out how it's got the rattlesnake down there. And then the art continues over onto the seats. And I think on this, on the front of his truck it says Legends are always racing. I think it's what it says. We'll look at the other side and see what it's got on it. truck up there and then down here going over a, uh, a jump our minds are always racing that's what it says that says JR's mind that way and I like the way they did if you look it's kind of see how the rattlesnake is down on the right and on the left there's a skull over there, rattlesnake on the right. So if you go around to this side, rattlesnake on the right and a different type of skull over here. It's like very well thought out artwork. And these cabinets uh, aren't connected together, they're just linked together so that in the middle there's a, you know, you can roll them separately and of course they've got art in the middle on each as well. The seats for all these were always different too. Um, depending on which game it was. So this, this, these were the seats specifically for Off-Road Challenge. The plastic's a little different um, depending on if it's Cruising USA or not. Or Cruising World, Cruising Exotica. California Speed Atari made which was kind of a similar cabinet too. So here's the control panels. Midway's famous uh, steering setup. They all look similar. You got a four-way shifter you got three view buttons. So view one's the cockpit, view two's overhead, view three's the chopper cam. Then we've got a radio button to change the channel on the radio, play different music. And then a start button. On off-road challenge you had nitro as well, so you collect that as you go along and you hit that start button and uh, you're able to speed up. Really 
really cool. These aren't quite as old as the ones that we usually uh, film videos of, but if you've been in an arcade, you've probably seen these. If these aren't classics yet, they soon will be. So anyway, that is Off-Road Challenge. What I'll do is I'll set up the tripod and we'll film a little video of me playing it so you can just see how incredibly great this game is. All right, we are back with the tripod. We're kind of at a weird angle. It's kind of hard to film these and sit in the seat at the same time, so we will let it do its thing a little bit so you can see the track mode. This is the famous uh, Wells Garner U5000 monitor, which uh, are kind of hard to fix, but uh, we've gotten a lot better at them over the years, so we got it up and running, doing its thing. Looks pretty good. There's probably hidden cars and stuff on this, but I don't know any of the uh, secrets to get them. I'll try holding the view button. That probably just changes the color on it, though, but we'll see. As it goes through the track, it just shows the different types of vehicles. I think there's four different ones that they allow you to get at the beginning. So here we go. Now, once again, folks, I'm not a great player. If you want to see a really good video of people playing this really well, search here on YouTube. I'm sure there are plenty of people that are great at this, but we're going to go through. Choose a truck. Why not? Let's just use the main uh, truck. This is the trophy truck here. Oh, uh, look. It dropped in another one over there. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, it's the Punisher. Choose transmission. We'll do automatic. Auto. Choose a track. Let's do, uh, we better do the beginner. Waiting for challengers. Now you've got a nitro button so you can get nitrous. doesn't have the thing cruising has where you can double tap the, the uh, gas because you can get nitro. those extra ones but I keep missing. I'm out too. I gotta get some more. A little sand castle action there. the new hot driver. Let's race again. I got eighty thousand dollars. There we go. You're hot. I'm hot. Oh come on. <laughs> Start one credit to continue. Okay, let's beef do that. Up your truck. I'm gonna beef up my truck. I got a hundred forty thousand. 
Let's go with speed. And uh, shock. Choose a track. Let's go to another beginner one. Waiting for challengers. I'm ready. I am set. Go. Ugly start. Ugly start. I've got more speed now, so I should be able to beat them with ease. <laughs> he hit the top. Steering's real tight on these, uh, on the uh, midway, cru like cruising games and this one. my truck I got 80,000 let's do accelerate Choose a track. and this time we'll go to uh, Pike's Peak waiting for challengers Ready? yeah I am oh, yeah. got it that time that gold because I thought it was a broke down car. Now 
am I possibly number one? Come on now. So there you have it, folks. I've got the other one turned off, but that is Midway's Off-Road Challenge. Most people have probably played it. By the time you see this video, this game may not still be here. We may have already sold it. Um, some of these driving games move out pretty quick. But maybe we'll have something else you're interested in. If you'd like, you could check out all of the games that we have for sale right now, whenever you're watching this video, on our website at lionsarcade.com. And uh, if uh, you're not in the market for a game, um, or at least uh, not one of the ones on our website, you can stop by our shop and see what we're working on. Uh, we're in downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina, which is about 15 minutes south of Charlotte, North Carolina. We're in Rock Hill, South Carolina, which is 15 minutes south of Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, you can just stop by and see whatever, what we're working on. Check out the selection. We've got a showroom here with probably 50 games in it usually. And uh, if you're not looking for a game, uh, just subscribe to us here on YouTube. What we like to do is get in these older games like this and uh, fix them up and then take a little video of it just to kind of show people how they... Uh, how they're set up and how they work and what the what the artwork's like and what the gameplay's like a little bit. So we're going to be making many, 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 many more videos. Uh, this is just one of them. So we will see you next video.